Alrighty, so today we're taking a look at another VR boxing simulator. The only VR boxing simulator, as a matter of fact, where the referee better say you win, or this happens. That's right, it's the thrill of the fight. Well, here I am at the official weigh-ins, and man, I cannot believe it's already time for my first big fight. But I appreciate all the fans and the paparazzi coming out here to snap a couple of pictures as I get ready to hop onto the scales. And that right there, that's my coach and trainer. We call him Frank the Tank, because we don't actually know what his name is. So this is Thrill of the Fight, and if you think Creed Rise to Glory is a realistic boxing game, well, Frank the Tank has something to tell you. Thrill of Fight is most realistic boxing game. So Thrill of the Fight really is a virtual reality boxing simulator where you have to move around you really need head movement you need body movement you can actually punch in all different places on the opponent's body it is a literal simulator and i'm about to get my ass absolutely handed to me now something really cool about thrill of the fight is it's actually a very technical game it measures force it gives you credit based on how much force it gives you credit based on your punch type whether you hit a weak point on the enemy like if you go for a liver hit or you go for the ribs or something like that the impact velocity it measures all of your statistics so when you actually throw a punch like we'll do a light punch like that and it says here that impact is one uh, meter a second. Let's go for a little bit of a harder jab. 6.5 and let's go for a backhand. 8.1. And, and look at that. It even says right cross. It even knew what kind of punch I was throwing. Freaking great. Let me just left cross. Left cross. Let's go left uppercut. Right uppercut. Left hook. This is so freaking accurate. Ain't that right, Frankie? This is a freaking accurate. It is freaking accurate. All right, calm down, old man. Oh, my opponent's actually a fat middle-aged Luigi. Nice. Let me put in my mouth guard and let's do this, Luigi. All right, now, like I said, you can't move around in this game by uh, by moving your track pads or anything. You literally have to step around. You have to step to the sides. You got to step to the right hand side, and then you got to. Oh, look at that big belly there. Look at that. Look at that big belly going right for the ribs. Look at that. Look at that. I love. I love how you can you can go for different kinds of shots. Oh, that's fantastic. And then he goes for a block down the stomach. And then open up the face. Oh, this is so much more realistic than Creed. Oh, he's getting a little getting a little bit bruised in the right eye there, champion. You can see we've got a little bit of a bruiser uh, forming underneath his left rib as well. I think I might just go for a fake. Oh, nice flurry there. We've got 30 seconds left. Let's let's make it count. Woo! This will get you sweating like a. Hooker in church. Ladies and gentlemen, going to the scorecards, the judges have determined by unanimous decision. Your winner, Me. the red corner. Damn right it is. Damn right it's the red corner. I really don't think he likes it when I go to punch him in the face. Look, he, he knows what's coming. He's cringing. He's like, oh, God, it's going to happen again. It's going to happen again. So it looks like my next opponent is Alexei Petrov. They like to call this guy Melky. Melky means milky in Russian because he's got milky nipples. I gotta say though, that round right there should show all of you watching right now how realistic this is in comparison to Creed. With the number of punches that I was able to throw, this game literally registers every single punch. In Creed, you can only throw a certain number of punches that'll get registered. But in this, you can unleash a massive flurry of all different kinds of punches and it registers every single one of them. It's fantastic. All right, well, it's nice to see that, uh, that a few more people Hey, Frank the Tank, it's nice to see you made it to the fight too. Frank the Tank always make it to the fight. Damn right you do. But it's nice to see a couple of nice ladies made it here as well, and a couple of strange looking dudes. It's like every boxing game you play in VR is just... It's all spectated by a bunch of really, really weird people. And you know, some people skip leg day, but it looks like old Milky right there. Uh, it seems like all he's ever done his entire life is leg day, and he skipped everything else a day. What are you looking at me like that for, ref? That's, that's, that's creepy, man. Whoa, okay. I feel like this referee is the kind of guy that'll follow you home at nighttime, eat you and your entire family, then sleep on your couch, take a shower in your shower, and then come back to the gym the next day to judge another boxing match. All right, Milky, come on, let's let's do this. All of the beautiful ladies out there are watching us, man. Come on, let's do a little bit of uh, Anderson Silva. We're going for some, some Wing Chun spider movement. Oh, beautiful flurry there. I love how in this game, your stamina is actually your stamina. It's not like you've you've got a limit to how many throws you can punch. It's like when you get tired in real life, that's when you stop punching. That was like my 50 hit flurry. End of the round, we've got five seconds left. Time to get a, a little, a little breather. Oh God, oh God. I got 60 seconds. I'm gonna use this 60 seconds wisely. 
What do you think I should do, Frank the Tank? Kill him in the balls. That's some bloody good advice. I'm really using the full 60 seconds here. Now you know what it feels like in a real fight when they go back to their corner and they've got 60 seconds to recuperate. It's not much time at all. God, I'm still, feel, still feeling uh, pretty pooped. And we're back in. All right, I'm going to pace myself a little bit more this time. I'm going to work the body. Okay, pace yourself, Cheru. Don't, don't get too excited. Pace, pace yourself. Come on. Oh, wow. I think, I think my head's actually sustained a fair bit of damage. It probably looks like a broken watermelon right now. All right, Conor McGregor. We're going for a, a right-hand cross. Actually, let's switch into Southpaw. Let's go for a, let's go for a left-hand cross. True Conor McGregor style. Come on, open up. Open up, Milky. Try and get him to drop his guard. Then we're going to go in. Boom, on the button. I don't know how bad old Milky is doing, but his face is looking redder than a drunk man's ass in the middle of a snowstorm. You know what I just realized? I realized that I haven't been using any head movement. I need to use a little bit more head movement and try and slip out of the way. Woo! That's what I'm talking about, baby. This feels so much more authentic than fighting in Creed does. This is... This is the real deal. If you want to feel the thrill of the fight, this is where you're gonna feel it. Come on. Remember, it's always harder to hit a moving target than it is a stationary one. Keep them guessing. Keep them guessing. Bob and weave. Get in, stick it, get out again. I think it's gonna to go to decision. I don't think I can knock this bad boy out, but it should definitely, two seconds left. This fight should definitely go to me. Ladies and gentlemen, going to the scorecards, the judges have determined by unanimous decision, your winner is the red corner. Damn right. Damn right I'm the winner. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Hey, baby, you want to uh, hit some focus mitts after this? If you know what I'm saying. Focus mitts. Boobs. <laughs> that certainly was quite the match. Let's have a look at the punch count and see uh, see what we threw here. So I'm red. So in the first round, I threw 132. Then I slowed down a little bit in the second round, and I threw 79. Then I kicked up the speed a little bit in the third round, and I threw 117. Compared to old mate that did 16, 13, and 10. Look at the output there with a 69% accuracy because everybody knows the 69 is obviously the best number, which is why I did it. It was completely intentional. And now i got to go up against Ugly Joe. Well, Ugly Joe, I'm f I'm feeling pretty, feeling pretty effed right now. <laughs> he also comes out of Philadelphia, USA. Holy smokes, John Nasato. It's like a half Japanese, half Italian guy that probably used to train with Rocky Balboa. Anyway, guys, before we go in and fight Ugly Joe Nasato, I want you to let me know down in the comment section which boxing game you actually prefer. Do you like Creed Rise to Glory? Or after seeing Thrill of the Fight, do you think Thrill of the Fight is the better boxing game? I think real boxing enthusiasts or people who do boxing are definitely going to think this is better. Obviously, Creed is better in the regards of fan service because it's got Rocky and Apollo and Adonis and Ivan and Clubber and all those cool people. But this game, when it comes to actually simulating boxing, nothing comes close to to the thrill of the fight. Well, Ugly Joe certainly looks a lot stronger than uh, old Milky did, but what the hell is the deal with Joe's feet? What the hell is the deal with everyone's feet in this game? Everyone outside of the ring has normal sized feet, but everyone in the ring has literal Bigfoot feet. Now this guy's obviously gonna put up a little bit more of a little bit more of a challenge than Milky did. He even looks like it, he even looks like an angrier guy. Look at his face. This is this is a veteran. This guy's a veteran in the ring. You can tell he's been shot in the face more times than a 50s star. I wonder if he has any less vision on that left eye, kind of like. Bisping does with his uh, with his fake eye over there. I'm kind of curious if I move out, if I circle around this way, if I can get him with a, a little bit of a sight disadvantage. Oh, we've cut him. Beautiful. Got a first cut. Ugly Joe certainly is living up to his name right there. I'm fully utilizing this break time right here just to catch my breath again so I can go in and really finish Ugly Joe. We've busted his right cheek. We've busted his lip. We're going to bust his left cheek. We're going to send him straight on back to Ugly Town. Ugly Joe, because that's where you belong. And that's also where your mama belongs, because she she's ugly too. I wonder if liver shots actually count in this. I haven't actually checked, but if they do, if they do, then that's something we definitely want to try and go for. Working these, working these flurries. Keeping him guessing, going from the left, going to the right, up high, 
down low, up high, switching back into orthodox. Oh, nice uppercut. This guy's got a chin like a freaking caveman. Ladies and gentlemen, going to the scorecards, the judges have determined by unanimous decision, your winner is the red corner. Damn right it is. Look at Ugly Joe's nose. Look at that thing. We broke it in like 50 places.